so today start with the new topic that is manner of discussion 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 refer to the variation of the item among themselves around an area greater the variation among different item of a series the more will be the discussion as per the bullet discussion is the manner of the range of the item so the various manner of sentence is empty or average discussed in the previous chapter give us the only one single figure that represent the entire subject data on the other hand manner of discussion help us to study the variability of the item that is extend to which the item vary from one another from the center value so in the other hand discussion is a manner of the variation of the item discussion is a manner of the extent to which the individual items vary so basically discussion help us to study the variability of the item which is the item vary from one another from the center value on the other hand some objectives of the manner of discussion so to determine the reliability of an average the manner of discussion has to determine the reliability of the average it point out the how far an average is representative to the statistical series if the discussion is small the average will closely represent the initial value and it is highly representative on the other hand if the discussion is large the average will be quite unreliable the second is to compare the variability of two or more series the manner of discussion help in comparing the variability of two or more series it also helps to and useful to determine the uniformity or consistency of two or more series a high degree of variation would mean less consistency or less uniformity as compared to the data having the less value on the other hand third objective for facilities use of other statistical measures manner of discussion serves the basis of any other statistical measures such as correlation regression test of hypothesis with the type first and type second etc and much more these measures are based on the measure of variation of one kind or another now fourth objective of the measure of discussion is basis of the statistical quality control the mean of the discussion is basis of the statistical quality control that this person gives indication to management as to whether the variation of the quality of the product is due to random factor or there is some defect in the manufacturing process so this is the objective of the measure of discussion on the other hand some properties of the good measure of discussion it good measure of discussion should these properties helpful to the find out the variation in a discussion so first of all it should be easy to understand it should be simple to calculate it should be unequally defined it is based on the all all observation or exchange value it should be unduly affected by the same item it should be capable of further adjustment treatment also on the other hand Second thing is that manner of discussion can be classified into two observations: absolute and relative manner of discussion. First of all, absolute or relative. First one is absolute manner of discussion. Is that discussion is expressed in the term unit in which data series are expressed? They are expressed in same and statistical unit like rupees, kilograms, ton, year, and centimeter. on the other hand relative or measure of discussion refers to variability stated in form of ratio or percentage thus relative measure of discussion is independent unit of the measure it is also called the coefficient of discussion basically this measure are used to compare the two series expressed in a different unit so this is called the absolute or relative measure of discussion on the other hand method of the measure of discussion basically these methods related to the measure of discussion the first one is range interquartile range mean deviation standard deviation coefficient of variation lorentz curve so first of all range what is the range in the simplest measure of discussion it is 
defined as a difference between largest and smallest value in the series so range is the simplest measure of dispersion basically this is it is defined the difference between largest and smallest value in the series r means range is equal to largest value minus smallest value this is the formula of range r is equal to range l is equal to largest value and s is equal to smallest value basically also define the coefficient of range is equal to l minus s over l plus s this is the coefficient of range now start with the example showing in the blackboard example that is first one with So now that is twenty, thirty-five, twenty-five, thirty. So this is the value of individual C. So now solution is first of all. We find out the largest value and smallest value in the equation. So, largest value in the equation is thirty-five, and the smallest value in the series is fifty. So, first of all, we find out the range. Range is equal to L minus S. So R is equal to largest value is thirty five and the smallest value is fifteen. So after the find out the after the minus of thirty five minus fifteen and the range of this is twenty. So this is the range. So now. Find out the coefficient of range. In the formula of L minus L, L plus L. This is the formula of coefficient of range. So, 
In the other hand, largest value is 35 and smallest value is 15. So, 35 plus 15. Plus 15 is equal to 50. So, this is the coefficient of range, and the answer of the coefficient of range is. Following data. And the equation is mark and the number of students. Number of students, 15, 18, 25, 30, 16, 10, and 9. As we know that mark denoted with the value of and the number of observations denoted with the value of F. In the case. So after we find out the first name and the formula is largest value minus smallest value. First of all, we find the largest value in the exit. Largest value in the exit is that is 70. Minus smallest value in the series that is 10. So, answer is 16. So, now find out the coefficient of range. So, coefficient of range and the formula of L minus L and plus S. So first of all, 70 minus 10, 70 plus 10. So that is 60 and 70 minus 10, that is, sorry, 70 plus 10 is equal to 80. So after this, 6 divided by 8, 4, this answer is 60. And the coefficient of range is equal to 3 divided by 4. This is the answer. This is a discrete series. So now, let's start with the continuity. So first of all, continue series. 
find out the range and coefficient of range in the quantity of C. This is the third series of the range. So now, size. Five to ten. Ten to fifteen. Fifteen to twenty. Twenty to twenty-five. And twenty-five to thirty. So now, other hand, frequency. Means f value. So size is denoted with the value of x. So frequency is four, nine, fifteen, thirty, and forty. So this is the frequency. So after this, we find out the range. Minus. So first of all, find out the largest value. First of all, largest value in the x series. That is, largest value in the series thirty, and the smallest value five. So first of all, largest value, upper limit of largest value is thirty minus smallest value. In the lower limit, that is five. And the answer is twenty-five. This is the answer of range. On the other hand, coefficient of range. We formula is n minus n and n plus n. So thirty minus five and thirty plus five. Twenty-five and thirty-five. Twenty-five divided by thirty-five. So now this is the range and the coefficient of range. Five divided by ten. This is the answer. So this is the third series of continuous series, and now. Basically, in discrete series, discrete series and continuous series related to the range. First of all, in the individual series, we find out the individual value. On the other hand, discrete series, we find out the x value and frequency. On the third series, continuous series, we find out the class interval denoted with the x value and frequency. The range l minus l. Largest value minus smallest value, and the coefficient of range is l minus l divided by l plus f. Largest value minus smallest value, largest value plus smallest value. After this, we find out the answer of range and coefficient of range. So, as we know, some other merit and demerits of range because of it is simply to understand, it is simply to calculate. And also, it is widely used in statistical quality. It, it is should be based on the all extreme values. Basically, it cannot be calculated in case of open and end series. So, on the other hand, it is not based on the all observation of the series. It is affected by the extreme value in the series. It is affected by the sampling fluctuation. I hope it is clear to all of you.